heals the sick He heals the lame And he says you can heal them too in Jesus' name He lifts you up and he turns you around Put your feet back on your feet back Put your feet higher Yeah, Josh, just what I do Ask her what's wrong Yeah, what's wrong with you? And up the top. Commit all toes. Be may hold and be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pain, everything goes in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I command you to be may hold. Right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's all right. The hips heal. The hips good. Now, this is important. Sometimes people get healed instantly in one place, then the other one will improve slowly. Never get discouraged if you don't see full healing. Never discourage because even Jesus can see one healed instantly like that. Sometimes they heal from that hour. I really encourage you that. Now, as I was saying to Josh, you've got to pray to your spirit. It's going to come something. Some people pray to their mind. Oh, Jesus, please, please heal. And their mind. You, you can't. Pray your mind is useless. All your emotions. All your emotions. Not, not, nothing to do but it's like faith in your spirit. And when I, when I pray, it's like, oh, something comes out of me that deep on the inside of me. In a man, in the name of, you can almost feel it. Almost like, I don't know what. Authority. It's nothing to do with your, your mind or how you feel, but your spirit, man. I mean, it's, you know, there's a verse in the Bible, it's, 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 the spirit of man is in the midst of him. We talk about the, the, the spirits, like in the, in the, I don't know how what it is, I can't explain it, but there's something in me that comes out. You know, you know it's like when a, if, 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 if a mum's got a child, and the child runs across the road, and she yells at this, ah! It doesn't come from her mind. It comes from something deep in the mother's, and the same you have this sort of something sort of come on deep inside of you. How do you do? And you just pray for that. And you just, just pray one last time and just slap your hands there. You see how, see how I persist? 
It's such a powerful thing. It's like your hands there and just let it come out. You imagine with your child with a right there. Bit of, and you put it right there, you put it on the toe right there. Just right that little toe there. Father, in Jesus' name, I commend this, all these toes to be my own and be 100% again in your name, Jesus. Right now, I commend everything to align and be fully healed and be restored in your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray again. Get up. Get aggressive. Get in your name, Jesus, I thank you. Everything be 100% in your mighty name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Really? Yeah. Mark and Mom. It's getting there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing. Made it 100% right now. Painfully go in your name, Jesus. Everything be 100% in your name, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I had a cramp on my head. I have not had pain for at least a year. So what happened here, for a while nothing was, nothing was happening with the foot, but you were gushing me for one last time, another time, and a breakthrough came. And you so important, you just pray this through man. And many times I will command, sometimes I feel it's something, some, some pain can be a demonic spirit. See, so something can be a natural thing that goes, it can be nothing but demonic things. You need discernment. And sometimes I feel, in the name of a geek, devil, go from that foot right now. One last time, to tell the devil to go, get it, Josh. One last time. The home run here, the home run here. No, it's also upper foot. So Josh is putting it, it's the toe going up the bones a bit. Is that right? Yeah, so just let him go, Josh. You're doing it right. No, he's doing right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I come in and stood in your name, Jesus. Every pain go, the whole foot, the whole leg, from the top right down to the bottom of this foot, in your name, Jesus. Be made whole and be fully healed and restored. 100% in your name, Jesus. Every pain go, in Jesus' name. Ask how she is. Lord. I mean, can you run up and down? <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I think. Yeah. No, it's better. Got a hand, everyone. <laughs> I think because I've just been walking up anyway, I'm stretching, but that pain, that pressure is gone. Give her another hand. <laughs> hey! Lynette, you and your husband Josh came to our seminar yesterday in Wyndham Vale, Victoria, and you really inspired. You and your husband, even before you came, were hungry to yes, be used by God, to, and you're always it's noticing boring. sick people. And so after the seminar, you really stirred up, and tell us what happened, what testimony have you got? Um, we went to a restaurant today after church, um, just in our local area, it's called Tadpa, and there was a manager, a waitress there, and he was limping around on this, this leg, and um, Josh goes, well, there you go, you can go and pray on this so, person, you know. It's, it's and I was like, ooh, a bit shaky. He goes, no, there you go. So I went up to him and I said to him, you know, his name was Tom. I said, Tom, do you mind, uh, you know, what's wrong with you? And I see you limping on your leg. And he said, I've had um, spine back pain for about 10 years now. And the doctor said, it's just ongoing medication and antibiotics. Um, and I asked him to pray, pray in Jesus' name, and he got healed. And his expression was, he swore, because he was in such an amazing place. Yeah. 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 You know, and he turned around and he told everyone, I cannot believe that, you know, and he doesn't go to church, and we just gave the praise back to God. Wonderful, he's healed. Yeah, Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Amazing. Yeah. I can do anything. I can do all things. Because it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible